A very good evening and welcome to this Wednesday night's edition of Primetime News. I'm Salima Shimwe Fellini. Leading our news bulletin tonight, the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Motor Vehicle Accident Fund and Standard Bank Namibia launched the Katutura Hospital Emergency Unit Renovation Initiative on Tuesday. Katutura Hospital has the biggest and busiest emergency unit in the country and functions as the main referral emergency unit in the country. The specific areas for revamp include redesigning the security and porter's room to control access to the emergency unit, a new resuscitation room with eight beds, conversion of existing resuscitation room into a pediatric unit, extension of the gynecologist examination room, and a new nursing station with safes for medicine. Speaking during the launch, Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, said the envisioned strengthening of the emergency unit will enhance patient flow and dedicated areas to provide for appropriate services and response to patients. The Motor Vehicle Accident MVA Fund urged bereaved families of the deceased in a road crash on the Kurenkuru Pungu Road in the Kavango West region on 23 April 2021 to submit claims to the fund. In a media statement issued on Tuesday, Corporate Affairs Manager Surya Gamas Guchu said the fund will dedicate every effort in fulfilling its mandate to assist the families of the deceased. Gomez Guchu said they expect to cover the funeral expenses of the 10 deceased persons amounting to 70,000 Namibian dollars, being 7,000 Namibian dollars per deceased. She added that the MVA fund will further assist with loss of support in case any of the deceased had dependents. The actual value of support will only be determined upon confirmation of such dependents and proof of income. The Electricity Control Board, ECB, today announced an approved average bulk tariff increase effective from 1st July following a two-year non-bulk tariff increase. ECB Chief Executive Officer Foybe Namene said after due consideration and in accordance with the tariff review process, the ECB resolved to increase the average bulk tariff from the currently approved tariff of one Namibian dollar and 65 cents per kilowatt hour to one Namibian dollar and 69 cents per kilowatt hour for the period 2021-2022. Your news roundup is up next. The 1.6 billion Namibian dollars budget for the financial year 2021-2022 allocated to the Ministry of Urban and Rural Development has been split among four programs to cover operational and development costs. Minister Erastus Utoni made the announcement while submitting his ministry's budget for approval in the National Assembly on Monday. This year, allocation represents a 3% reduction from the last year budget allocation of 1,713,161,000 Namibian dollars. 1,033,807,000 Namibian dollars is the operational budget and the development budget is 550 million, 115,000 Namibian dollars. I'll now present the allocation of the 2021-22 budget program. Program 1, regional and local government and traditional authorities. 
a budget allocation of 894,760,756 Namibian dollars is subsidy and will go towards supporting and enhancing the operational and service delivery capacity of regional councils and local authorities as well as recognize traditional authorities. Our next program is decentralization. Program two, enhancement of public participation in development planning and decision making, that is decentralization. Despite resources and capacity challenges at various levels, the government remains committed to decentralization of decision making and service delivery to the local and grassroots levels. A budgetary allocation of 12 million 116,000 Namibian dollars, 521 dollars, has been made to fund activities related to the decentralization of additional function to regional councils. Program 3, support habitat and housing development. This year, an amount of 510 million 454,000 Arabian dollars, 160 dollars, is earmarked for this program, which consists of various interventions by the government that are aimed at ensuring the availability of basic municipal infrastructures and services, as well as the provision of housing in the country. Program 4, and this is the last program, in line with our commitment towards improving the livelihood of our people residing in rural areas, a budget amount 78 million 882,032 Namibian dollars is earmarked for our ongoing rural development in the shape. Namibia Broadcasting Corporation Director General Stanley Similo said the $127.5 million Namibian dollars government subsidy to the national broadcaster NBC has placed its survival in jeopardy. Similo said this during the NBC public hearing with the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Information, Communication, Technology and Innovation on Monday. During the just ended 2020-2021 financial year, NBC was allocated 334.1 million Namibia dollars by government. It was slashed to 127.5 million Namibia dollars, which is a 62% drop from the previous financial year during the current financial year. This is a drop in the ocean for an entity whose monthly operational cost stands at 32 million Namibia dollars, the NBC Director General Stanley Similo said. NBC's annual operational cost amount to 386.2 million Namibia dollars. Of this, 263 million Namibia dollars go to salaries, 79.5 million Namibia dollars for direct operations, 13.4 million Namibia dollars for repairs and maintenance, 29 million Namibia dollars for support facilities, and 1.7 million Namibia dollars for finance costs. The NBC is an appropriation of 127 5 million. That is extremely scary, people. And this is the position currently that has also in a way affected the wage negotiations that the NBC is currently in talks with NAFU. At this stage, we are more worried about job security because that threat is real, people. If this thing remains, this business will not fly. If the situation remains as is, NBC will be placed in a compromised position to effectively execute its mandate and fairly compete in the market, he added. According to Similo, the corporation is also not in a position to resolve the ongoing labor impasse that has seen its employees down to countrywide. No this is suffering. No increment. Nothing. For five to seven years. Uh, one of the demands of the employees is to have the 131 contract employees employed on a permanent basis. But according to Similo, it is virtually impossible to absorb these employees on a permanent basis under their current economic climate. The Director General of the National Broadcaster went on to say that, in the last five years, NBC has spent at least 53 million Namibia dollars on performance bonuses, salary increments, and 13th checks. 
Of this amount, 47 million Namibia dollars was paid to staff below management, while the 26 managers, of which 5 are top management, only received around 5 million Namibia dollars. He also appealed to both the public enterprises and finance ministers to relook the NBC budgetary allocation. Josephine Simeon, Nampe News. It's time for the economics roundup. That's all the hard news we had for you tonight. Stand by for Shalva Wells with your sports update. Good evening and welcome to Sport Planet. I'm Shalva Wells. The Basketball Artist School, BAS, said it hosted a successful basketball camp over three days from 24 to 26 April 2021 in Ventuk. In a media statement issued Tuesday, Basketball Artist School coordinator Malaki Amatia said 90 participants, including coaches and players, attended the fourth annual DHPS slash BAS basketball camp. Trophies were given to the participants that showed outstanding performance over the three days. Players attending the camp showed the most variety this year with participants coming from 14 schools. AC Boxing's promotions founder, Ims Moses, said the stage is set for the May Day Boxing Bonanza, scheduled for 1st May at the Nampower Convention Center in the capital. Speaking to Nampa on Tuesday, following the public workout by the main boxers of the card, Moses said the evening promises fireworks. He said that all contracts have been signed and the venue has been secured. His views were echoed by Flame Special One, Nangola, who said he was confident of a win against his opponent. Nangola will face Gustav Pietras in an eight-round super bantamweight category in the main fight of the evening in a non-title fight. On the same night, Harry Simon Jr. will face the Monikus Weyulu in a rematch of their 2019 bout at Ashipena High School. In international sports news, Arsenal could welcome back captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang for the first leg of the Europa League semi-final away to Villarreal on Thursday. Aubameyang has missed the last four games after contracting malaria during the March international break but could return alongside fellow forward Alexander Lacazette who has overcome a hamstring complaint. Kieran Tini and David Luiz have also been declared available. And now for your sports roundup. That's all the news we had for you this evening. We thank you for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up and share. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Also click on the notifications bell to stay posted on the latest happenings locally and globally. From Michelle Wells and the entire Nampa team, good night.